Hello there, welcome back to the new tutorial video. So in this video, we will be seeing how to change number formatting in Power BI. So changing number formatting is a very crucial and a very important thing when it comes to using it in a matrix or in a table. So here I'm having a simple table where I'm having the product subcategory. Now, let me add sales and profit columns as well over here. So I will add this profit column and here there is a sales column. So here now you can see that it is or uh, both the columns are showing in form of decimals over here. So if I want to do some formatting changes on these numbers, what I have to do is I simply have to select that particular column. And here at the top, you get this option of column tools. And under this column tools, you have this option of formatting. And here you, you can see that the data type for this column is decimal number. So what I want is, for now, I want to change this data type to a whole number. I will click on yes. And you will see that for the profit column, it has been changed to the whole number. Now, as you can see, there is no comma over here. I also have to add a comma. So here you can see in formatting, you have this option of comma. And when you will click on this, again, you will see the commas over here. And let's explore the other options in the formatting settings. So in under formatting for this table, we have this option of specific column. And under the specific column, you need to select the column which you want to perform formatting on. So I will select sum of profit. And here you have this option of display units. So you can either display this number in thousands, millions, billions and trillions. So as these numbers are not so big, so I will go for thousands only. And from here, you can control the decimal places also. If I am writing two, it will give me two decimal points. If I am writing one, it will give me one decimal point. So for now, let's keep it as one decimal point only. Similarly, what you can do is for the other column sales also, you can do the same thing. You can click on it. In display units, you can select thousands. And again, what I want is I only want one decimal points over here. So you can see we have done this formatting changes. Now, you can see that this formatting was only applied to this particular column. Now, what about a measure? So let me add measure also in this table. I have already created a measure for total profit and total sales. Let me remove these columns of profit and sales. Now these are only the measures. Similarly, here also you can perform the same functions. Here you get this option of measure tools. Again, what I can do is I can click on this comma if I want to enable it. So you can see it has been enabled over here. And you can also select the number of decimal places which you want. So I will select it as one. So here I will get only one decimal places. Now let's do for this other visual as well. So here you can see already it is having two decimal places. I will select this as one. And again, I want to enable the comma. And now we will see the same settings in formatting option. We'll again go to specific column and we'll select the measure total profit. And then I will display the units in thousands and keep the decimal places to one. Again, same I will do with total sales as well. I will select total sales. Here I will display units in thousands. And again, I will click here as one. So by default, what, what is happening is by default, we have selected here one. So by default, here also it is displaying it in one. So you can see that you can get both these options in this measure tools as well and in the formatting as well for the visual. So in this way, you can do this formatting in a table or similarly, you can also perform the same formatting in a matrix as well. So all the formatting options, if you'll go in the matrix, you can go to the specific columns and here also you will have the same formatting options which is there in table as well. I hope you learned something new from this video and you have any other doubts, do let me know in the comment section. 
If you really enjoyed watching this video, do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.